I'm supposed to know. Ask him yourself. Oh, I'm gonna bleed out. The ring, said he'd be <sighs> I'm gonna bleed out. Hey, you, leave him alone. Uh, I killed him myself. Uh, Let him learn to stand up for himself. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another video from me, Box of Demons, and here it is, Metro Exodus, a game I've been waiting for for quite a long time. I played the other two titles, and what really got to me in the other games was that feeling of stalker, of Russian Chernobyl disaster. These games have got a real, real grounded, gritty, dirty survival feel to them, a little bit like Escape from Tarkov mixed with stalker. So I'm going to play the first part here for you, my subscribers, and we'll jump in together and have a look at the best resolution I can possibly get on YouTube, and hopefully this game lives up to the hype. We will be playing on normal. Unfortunately, the cutscenes are not going to be ultra-wide, so I will double them up at each side. Let's jump in and have a look at the intro, because having seen it before, it really does set the premise for this game. I still remember life before the war. I remember that we used to be different. We used to live up there, on the surface. We used to be the masters of the whole world. We built gigantic cities of glass and steel. We crossed the oceans at will. And we also conquered the skies. There used to be seven billion of us. We were not born for life in the tunnels. I was born to breathe fresh air, and I remember it. The seven billion were wiped out by the last war. Only 50,000 managed to survive underground, with the surface poisoned, burned, and teeming with horrible monsters. One day, the radiation on the surface might subside, and our grandchildren, or their grandchildren, might be able to return there. At least that's what my brothers in arms from the Order believe. Basically, there was no hope for us right off the start. Still, we humans are just too bad at surrendering. We tried to make the best of what we had, banded together, and worked to make the Metro our new home. After all, it might well be the only place left on Earth for humans to live. For a time, we thought we could make it, but, regrettably, the war didn't kill our bad habits. In the relative safety of the tunnels, corruption festered. And when danger came from above the ground, only a few of us stood against it. Our numbers dwindling by the day. But I remember we were born for a better life. And I can't accept that I'm destined to grow old and die underground. I don't care if I'm called an idiot. But if even a single shard of the old world still exists out there, I have to find it. Between endless years of hopeless existence and even a single moment of hope, I must choose hope. I must find that signal. 
Wow, what an amazing opener. I don't think any game title for me will beat The Witcher 3's opening premise. It really did set the tone for the entire world. So here we are in... Wow. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, put that in bold lettering. I can tell you now, this in ultra-wide is gob... That is beautiful. That is absolutely stunning. And this is in-game as well. This is not pre-rendered. And I know that YouTube is probably going to be... It's not going to give you the whole quality of this. It's going to be compressed to hell. But my God, these graphics look beautiful. Look at the cables in the wind there. Wow, that is amazing. Oh my God. They weren't joking when they said the graphics were good. Wow, wow, wow. A lot of people have said that this is a really, really immersive first-person shooter experience because everything is told in the first-person view. Wow, the immersion is good here. Audio is nice as well. You can hear the Geiger counter there constantly ticking. So there's a little bit of radiation here, and here we are. In a minute now, I think we will get control. Welcome to Metro Exodus. And it is buttery smooth, even at ultra wide 4K. The mouse seems a little bit slow. And what I'm going to do in this first part is I'm just going to experience this with you at a slower pace. We're going to enjoy the graphics, the audio, and just take our time during this first stage. Something beep in there. I think, uh, is it one of the filters? The Geiger counter is chugging a little bit crackling there. I don't think there's too much radiation for us to worry about down here. And of course, with this being the tutorial area F for flashlight, it will tell us if the filters need changing. So also we've got a rail car here and they're frozen to death. Maybe this door on the right here was was shut. E to open. Oh, this first person view is just brilliant. Right, looks like we're coming up to our first infected. I think they were rats. What were those spiders? L to light the way with your light. Oh my god, even the flames look amazing. Okay, so we can hear the rain dripping, the water. It's like things are bubbling away beneath our feet. Presumably water will be radiated, so it's probably not the best idea for me to be stepping into that. Whoa, 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 whoa! Demon crabs, looks like some out of Half-Life. Doesn't look like we can connect these. I would imagine that they will be infected spores. I seem to remember that was Artyom's downfall in the first couple of games. Of course, this being... Anything with children's laughter is always spooky. Of course, with this being the third in the series, it now becomes a kind of open world that is quite linear for the first hour or so, so I'm told it's learning progress. And as then it becomes open world, a little bit like Escape from Tarkov and Stalker. Okay, so we've got some shotgun ammo, I presume. Oh, I'm loving the first person view all the way through. Very, very immersive. Let's move our way up here. Space to jump. Climb up. Hear the Geiger counter there, just ever so slightly ticking. I think that will be the bar on my left wrist you can see there. It's in the green. It probably means safe. Because I don't want to presume anything based on the last two games. This is its own title. <laughs> so I'm hearing somebody whispering and laughter. And also I heard 
something beastly. Let's turn the flashlight off and have a look. It is pitch black in it. Oh, look, you can see on the left there a reflection of something. So there's something up above us on the right. God, it's going to be a horde of... Okay, so there are possibly other survivors down here. We heard gunshots. Electrical cable there, the light coming through. Let's push on. Sure, he had somebody on the right there. Let's just keep pushing forward here. Not sure how many. That's the way we came in, so whether that's going to be following behind us. We. I'm not sure how we checked the amount of ammo as yet. Somebody's dragging something. That sounded like a vent that we opened on the surface. Okay, nothing in there. Somebody's ringing a damn bell. I don't know what that is either. I can hear my breath here within the visor. Alright, got spiders. Old ventilation shaft here, we've got old fans and markers. The lighting effects on the fire is brilliant. Let's just burn them all just in case. Oh shit! It's in hell! Bastard! Jesus! Shoot it! Shoot it! Fucking hell! Frighten the fucking bejeebas out of me! What is that anyway? Is that a rat? Some sort of in... Some sort of infected rat. Or is it a bat? Could even be a bat. Right, I'm hearing that bell ringing again. That's... Whoa, 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 whoa! Okay, so we know it's two rounds with this. Well, that, I suppose we'll class this as the shotgun. Whoa, 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 whoa. Somebody ringing that bell for help. What's this over here? Okay, turn lights on or off. Shotgun shells. They were coming out. In fact, I can't collect any more. So if we do a reload, tactical reload, lads, then we should be able to pick up some more ammo. Somebody's definitely asking for help with that bell. Let's see if we've got any more. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, these are not too bad then, it's two rounds. Two shotgun shells, we've got 11 left. Probably means that it's nine and three chambered, possibly. Let's just keep moving. So we can... Got a fire here. So somebody's been here recently. Lots of decomposed bodies. What's been going on down here? Shotgun shells. Right, we're going to move up onto the... There's definitely something going on down here. I don't know if the battery goes out on the flashlight. I seem to remember we had to charge it by hand last time. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. I thought something was going to come through the roof then. Is that a 50 cal? There's a 50 cal. Doesn't look like I can actually use it. Now the music's picking up a little bit. I'm going to guess and say, are we going to get attacked here? Jesus, there's definitely some... Whoa, 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 whoa! Fucking hell. What's that noise? Is that a train? That sounds like a train. What the fuck is that? Oh shit! Shit, shit, shit! Right, let's get in the door. Get in the door. Get up. Cover our back. Cover our back. Oh fuck! Open the door! Open the door! Quick, 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 quick! Open it, open it, open it! Open the fuck! Quick! Bastard! Oh! 
for folks. <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Get out of it! Oh, there's another one! There's another one! Look! The watchman got someone! Huh? Oh, we've got back up! We've got back up! Come here! Go! Help me! Help me, man! It's too many! Too many! Too many! Oh, the cavalry is here, lads! Cavalry is here! Help me! Help me! Help me! Get him off me! Yeah, it's me! It's me! At your demand! Let's get out of here, lads! Come on, Artyom, stay with us! Double time, back to HQ! They're coming back! Attention, people! Oh, look, it's the hero! Move. Careful, lads, I'm injured bad. It's night time at the station. Don't worry, I told you. I, I, I got it, I got it, open up! Come on, lads, get me back, get me back. Get that fucking kettle on. Up Yorkshire gold. So anything out. Oh, God. Hey, you won't be complaining when I save us all. Hey, you got to do a little bit of a D6. Lads, I'm fading. I'm gonna hey, pass Daniel, out. Do you think the colonel knows what Artyom been up to here? Oh, don't tell him. How am I supposed to know? Ask him yourself. Oh, I'm gonna bleed he out. The ring, said he'd be <sighs> I'm gonna bleed out. Hey, you, leave him alone. Uh, I killed him myself. Uh, uh, learn to stand up for himself. Uh, yeah, How right. else can he hope and to survive in the metro? Rise and shine, people. Have a Hang in there, Artyom. You're gonna get a fresh dose of Spartan blood now. Are you awake? It's okay. The doctor said you'll be fine. Are you trying to kill me with worry? What if next time you don't return from the surface? There's no one out there, Artyom. No one to find, no one to talk to. If there was, don't you think they'd be here already? We've talked about this again and again. You have to accept it. There's only us. Colonel. Hello, Alex. There you are, you stubborn fool. How many times are we going to have this conversation? I don't care if you kill yourself over this silly dream of yours. But don't you see what you're doing to my daughter? Your wife? Dad, please. The order is short on men after the battle for D6, but you leave. People need you, and you pursue your selfish obsession. But now this shit has to stop. There's only Metro, nothing else. And the order is here to defend it. Because if not us, then who? You look fine to me. So get ready to go. Then, we'll discuss your transfer to Polis. Come, we need to talk. I'll get the doctor. Artyom, please, promise me this was the last time. I'll see you later. Artyom, we managed to bring you back from the brink, but... People are giving you their blood, which could save so many wounded, and you keep bringing it back irradiated. Don't you think that is unfair? Let me put it this way. I can't promise I'll be able to bring you back next time. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is part one of Metro Exodus. I wasn't really planning on doing this as a series, but if you've enjoyed part one, and you would like me to get boots on the radiated ground again, then do let me know in the comments box below. Thumbs up, subscribe, and all that good stuff. I actually can't wait to jump back in. Thanks for watching. This has been Metro Exodus, and I've been Demon Actual, Box of Demons. Thanks for watching.
Bye-bye.